I've tried 5G chess with multiverse time travel. This is probably the most insane chess variant I've ever played, so be sure to stick around to the end if you want to see me lose my mind over the most absurd checkmate you've ever seen. I feel like this loses. Wait, what? What is this? What? How did I lose already? I'm going to be playing against the weakest bot because um, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see why I'm playing against the weakest bot. So I got black, unfortunately. My opponent just pushed his pawn, so I'm just going to push my pawn. It's pretty simple stuff. I'll have to submit the move. Okay. Uh, and this is when it kind of starts getting a little bit crazy. See, I can do this. And not only can I travel on a normal chessboard, a knight can travel two in the y axis and one in the x. In 5D chess with multiverse time travel, the knight can travel two in the y and one in multiverse, thus creating a new timeline where white can play a move branching off from the main timeline. And this can get really, really crazy with some insane checkmates. Oh, and also when you do that, it moves back the present. You're probably super confused right now, but I'll try to explain the very basics of the variant. Basically, every time you move a piece back in time to a past board, it makes a new timeline. And as you saw earlier, the piece mobility is different when factoring in time travel. And I'm not going to get into how all that works, especially since I don't fully understand it. But that does raise an important question. If your opponent tries to checkmate you, couldn't you run your king away to another board in another timeline in the multiverse, thus escaping checkmate? Yes. So, how do you win? Well, I'll let this guy explain. The other more usual way to win is to checkmate your opponent's king. When multiple timelines exist, there will be multiple kings. If you checkmate any one of your opponent's kings, you win. But to checkmate a king, there has to be no move your opponent can make that will result in the king not being in check in the present. Remember, if the king is in check in the future, that doesn't matter yet. So one way to get out of check is by not taking your turn in the timeline where you are checked and moving back in time with a different piece on another timeline to move the present to the past. This makes the board where your king is in check the future and therefore is not checkmate yet because you only have to make moves in the present and you don't have to take a move there yet. This is called stalling because you need to checkmate your opponent before the present catches back up to where you're in check. Now that you kind of understand how 5D chess works, you'll understand why I reacted the way I did to the end of this game. We are going to take this knight because that will damage his pawn structure. We will take that knight. We just want to keep it very simple. Oh, okay. Well, look. The bot sends a knight back in time, thus moving back the present and creating a new timeline. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, we're going to defend that knight. And then we're going to come here. Do we split off into another timeline? No, we don't. We're going to keep this simple. We're going to keep this simple. I don't want to confuse this too much. Okay, we're going to do develop. Oh, this is going to get crazy. See, we already have three separate timelines that I have, we have to play with. I feel like I'm gonna get like checkmated in the most absurd way possible. Which would suck. Um, that is simply a check. I feel like that loses a queen. I have a really bad feeling that loses a queen. Let's go for checkmate. This is the weakest bot, so it should be pretty easy to get checkmate. And yep. Uh, and there, there, my opponent did it. Uh, this loses. Does this lose? Doesn't have anything defending this right theoretically i think he does i think this is gonna end really badly submit moves oh i won that's so wild that's so wild that's crazy i didn't even mean to do that that was that was too short uh, i i guess i win okay you know what that was that was really easy you know what i beat the tr weak easy bot let's play the aggressive bot and see how hard it is we're just gonna play normal chess really simple Two pawns in the center. That's the way we do it, boys. Uh, let's actually go for an easy checkmate, because why not? Okay, now I'm in check, so I have to block. I feel like this loses. Wait, what? what? How did I lose already? Okay, okay. You know what? We can't play against the strong bot. We beat the weak bot. We're going to try regular bot, because apparently that's the only one we can actually, like, legitimately beat. <laughs> Yeah. A4. Wonderful. Wait, no. That's what am I saying? A4. It's H4. My bad. Okay. I'm gonna play a really simple chess, okay? We're not gonna lose like we did before. Let's go for a quick checkmate. Ooh, wait, we're gonna go for this weird checkmating thing that we did before. Is this is this not checking him? Oh, I can take his Whoa, I, I just took his rook in this timeline, but I can also take his rook in this timeline. That's so... I'm gonna take the rook first. Moving back, moving back the present, allowing a new timeline to be created. That's so wild. 
And now he has a double queen. Oh, how wonderful. My favorite. And I can move it back and attack the knight again, creating a new timeline that's identical to the timeline I just created. What? I'm losing my mind. Okay, we're not going to do that because that's dumb. That's dumb. I think he can... If I take this pawn, I think he can take my queen. So we're not going to. Instead, deselect that. We're in this timeline. So why don't... We come here. Let's create another timeline because why not? Oh, and it's still my move. My bad. I completely missed his move. Uh... Yeah, let's create another timeline from this timeline. Because why not? Why not? We can just do that and we're gonna win. Because we're just too good at this game. Okay. So that's all that's all he I feel like this I feel like this is a poison pawn and I'm really afraid to take. Uh let's move the timeline back. Let's sack the queen, moving the timeline back, creating another timeline. Allow wait, does that I thought that moves the present back. Does that not move the present back? Come on. I I'm so confused. What's happening here? I don't I I'm so confused right now. No. Here you go. We're just going to do this. We're going to do this. Easy. And we're going to come back to this timeline. And we are going to hit him with this. With, um, actually, wait. I'm doing that. I can probably lose his. Oh, no. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? He's moved. The bot's moving around a lot of stuff. The bot also moved back the present. It's really confusing. But we can take the, the rook again. We've taken this rook so many times. But this advances the present, thank goodness. No, we can yeah, so we can make moves on this on the these boards, but they're not gonna take effect until the present catches up to the boards. Because right now we're in the future and this is in the past. The only boards that are active currently are those on the present. Which just sounds really confusing. Where did everything go? Uh yeah, we're not gonna make a move yet. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna check. We're gonna take the free pawn now. Even though I know what for a fact that it's not free, but it's just too tempting not to take. And then we're going to have to let's push this. There you go. Oh no. Oh, I'm in check. How am I in check? Wait, he checkmated me? How? This queen is targeting what? What? You can only make noises to appreciate this. How? What is this? Oh my gosh. I'm so confused right now. I don't know how this happened. I don't, I, I don't, I, 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 how is this? What? What? I, I, I'm, I'm so confused right now. Comment down below if you want me to do another video where I attempt to beat the aggressive bot. That's wild.